Hey guys and welcome to Come Blossom with me. Today's video is going to be a bit different. So I'm just going to show you guys how I did my sister's hair and I hope you enjoy it. This is a gel called Gummy Professional Styling Wax Ultra Hold and I really loved it while doing her hair. The Blue Magic just to moisturise her hair. Hands uh, to hold the hair. And then I used these two combs, uh, which one decided to break. Mm -hmm. And then I used the crochet, I don't know how to say it, is it pin or, or stick or whatever. First step was for me to part the hair to be able to put the rubber band and tie up the hair for me to insert the crochet. I find this very helpful as it helps the hair to be very firm because especially the fact that I had long nails, there's no way I was going to plait from the roots. If you're a beginner, this is a really nice strategy to use and I would recommend this. What I would say is any hair oil, put the rubber band that you do use in order for the rubber bands to fully rise through once you're putting it on the hair because rubber bands do cut your hair so you need to moisturize it before you put it on your hair to avoid breakage The next thing I did was I uh, took the crochet pin and this is the part where she really did not like because yeah I understand it is quite painful when you're trying to put the hair in the pin and out of the pin and this is where I had to keep on telling her to embrace herself so bless her she really tried. As you can see the first thing I would do is I would twist the hair and then I would pass it through the pin. Once I'd pass it through the pin and then I'll just pull it out. I prefer pulling it out with, with my hand instead because sometimes you can miss part of the hair when you're pulling it out. So it's just a small part of the hair that you do use or the extension. As for this part when you are about to plait, 
I don't have a strategic way I just do it in however it's easier for me so I'm not a professional this is just me just doing something or just helping out doing my sister's hair and yeah so I don't have a specific way of how you can use or how you need to separate the hair in order to plait. Toughest thing is when you're actually trying to hide the hair itself to be able to blend in with the extension. So that's one of my hardest um, things when plaiting. I just it's just hard hiding the hair with the extension. It's just the hardest thing. But anyone else who knows any different, just hit me up on the comments and yeah. My mom came to help with finishing of the hair as also we were actually in a rush had a reservation somewhere and we were in a rush to actually finish the hair on time so shout out to mom ignore how i was wearing please like i was in the house it was it was chill time when you're chilling in the house you do you right so One thing that I did forget to show you guys was when I added on hair and yeah I forgot to show you guys how I did that. This was my first time adding on hair on a braid. The reason why I did this was because some of the braid was a bit short so I needed it longer because it was the front part of the hair so I'll show you guys next time. It was snack time and yeah, she not got hungry so mom made us sandwiches uh, but I couldn't eat obviously because <laughs> of doing her hair. There's no Audrey because we were trying not to distract my brother who is doing his homework but he still got distracted so, so yeah. <laughs> 
uh the video does end with no warning so sorry guys as i mentioned before we were heading to a reservation so i ended the video a bit too quick so i hope next time i will do a better video that will show also how i hot water the hair and then i apply the mousse then i cut a bit of the ends um and yeah so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and thank you so much for the support so far and yeah